Well, this fall marks four years since the death of Leslie Newlander, whose story captivated Central New York and made national headlines. You certainly recall her husband, Dr. Robert Newlander, was convicted of her murder after a lengthy trial. He's always maintained his innocence, claiming Leslie fell in the shower. Although Newlander's family continues to support him, he is in prison, appealing his conviction. Now, with the support of her family, the Jewish Community Center of Syracuse is preparing to honor Leslie Newlander's life. And some of her friends speak publicly for the first time about the woman whose memory still makes them smile. New at 11, Megan Coleman is here. They are moments frozen in time. Now memories of a vibrant woman, loving mother, cherished friend. The smile, the curly blonde locks, that insatiable laugh. You can't help look at that smile, this smile. You can't, I, I, I love it. You know, that one picture of her and I together. I look at it and I start smiling. In the nearly four years since Leslie Newlander's death, her closest friends have remained silent. The heartbreak of her loss, the circumstances surrounding her death, too painful to relive. Only now are they finding the strength to come forward, saying now is the time to honor her life and the undeniable legacy she leaves behind. It was important that we not forget who she was. And, you know, we waited out of respect, and we said, this is the time. It's time to do it. Looking at pictures of her old friend, Marcy Erlbacher remembers Leslie's passion. As executive director of the Jewish Community Center, Marcy worked side by side with Leslie over the years. After all, Leslie devoted her life to giving back. Leslie wanted to pay it forward. She wanted to give back to the community that so richly embraced her. She wasn't from Syracuse. Um, so when she came into the community, she wanted to be a part of it. On the JCC campus, the Family Sports and Fitness Center bears the Newlander name, a family so deeply involved in the Jewish community and beyond. JCC Board President Stephen Siskin knew Leslie for 30 years. His children grew up with hers. Her smile and her, her way about her was so subtle and so infectious, you couldn't say no. Um, and I miss that. I do miss them. Using Leslie's spirit of service and volunteerism as their guide, the board created the Leslie, a new award with a unique honor given to someone who embodies Leslie's qualities, who embraces the community the way she did. I, I think there's a hole. I think there's a void. And that is what we're trying to do with this award, is that we wanted to recognize young people coming up and saying, look what you can be. Look what... Let's have you emulate that. The board found that person in 37-year-old Sarah Thomas, a mother of two, partner at Bond Senecan King, board member at the Jewish Community Center at Menorah Park, and a volunteer with Meals on Wheels. A young woman so moved by the honor, she was brought to tears when she learned she would be the first recipient. She cried. She truly was so moved that we would recognize what she's done, and in a very... Leslie-like way, her response was, what did I do to deserve this? It was fun. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was totally, it was really moving. Kevin sat on the JCC board with Leslie and remembers her as fun-loving, energetic, and dynamic. A woman she looked up to in so many ways. It's definitely a lot to learn to do. <laughs> Um, she did it. It, 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 it's to fill in terms of the things that she's done for the community. And Leslie was the type of person that would enter a room and bring it alive. Yeah, you know, I could call her my personal tinker bell because she lit it in and she lit the room up and then she'd leave and I'd go, oh, Leslie was here. Still here with her now, but only in spirit, leaving behind a legacy of love and devoted to a community she embraced with her whole heart. So when I see her picture like this, um, I remember the beauty she brought with her. She, um, I remember, and she was such a deep soul. And I hope there's going to be a legacy of Leslie's coming up. Maybe not the same curly hair and not the same giggle and laugh, but there'll be other Leslie's. The Leslie Award will be presented at the Jewish Community Center's annual meeting and gala next month. Organizers are hopeful some of Leslie's family will be there to help honor her. I'm Megan Coleman reporting. JCC Gala is held Sunday, June 5th at 11 a.m. at Awera Vineyards in Casanova. 
For more information on how you can attend, you can go to our website, greenlightcentral.com.